Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AzureAutomation.com and welcome to part 23 of our build deploy test with Jenkins and Docker course. And in this video, we'll be talking about running Maven within Jenkins Docker image, which we were failing in our previous video, which is part 22. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 22 because this video is going to be a complete continuation of our previous video. All right, so let's get started. So in our previous video, while we were running Jenkins with Maven, and we were actually getting this particular error, it says that cannot run the program Maven within it. The reason is because it says no such file or directory found. And we know that the reason is because the image that we downloaded, the blue ocean image from Jenkins of the Docker hub, actually does not contain MVN or Maven itself. So we need to explicitly download the Maven and install that within that particular image so that we can use that. And once again, within our Jenkins course of our Exit Automation's YouTube channel as well as in Udemy, we discuss how to create our own image of Jenkins using what is called as a Docker file, and then how we can do that. And that's exactly what I'm going to be showing in this particular video as well. So basically, I'm going to create this particular Docker file, as you can see here. It says pulling the blue ocean image from, and then I'm going to use the user as root. And then I'm going to run an apt-get to install the wget, whereas from wget, I can get the maven installation directory, uh, which is going to be from this particular uh, uh, location. And then I'm going to do an install maven over here, which is going to be like extracting the tar file and then going to the particular file and setting the uh, home path and then you can see that maven path is being set, expose the path, and then I'm going to clean the already existing archive files, and then I'm going to be running the uh, Jenkins over here. So this is what is this particular Docker file is going to be doing things for us, and using this we can actually run code with the maven command itself. So that's going to be very interesting because this particular code that you are seeing over here is actually not a code basically, it's just a command which you can use to run the Docker with Maven itself. And again, the Docker image that we are downloading, the blue ocean, does not really have the Maven, and we are actually doing the installation over here, and then we are gonna be building our own Docker image so that we can run the particular container along with the Maven itself. So for that, I'm gonna go back to my command prompt, the one which we opened in our previous video. And over here, I'm actually gonna go to my C colon, uh, so I'm just going to go to the C colon, I'm going to ls, and you can see that I have folder called docker. I just created that. So if I just go to the uh, docker, and if I just do an ls, you can see that I have a docker file. So the docker file is basically this file that you are seeing over here within my VS code. That's exactly is what is this one. And in order to build the docker image, I'm just going to do a command docker build. And then I'm just going to give a tag as something like, so this is the tag name that I'm going to be using for my custom Docker with Maven. I'm going to use the file, which is nothing but the Docker file that I already have within my C colon. And now I'm just going to hit enter. Uh, oops. It says like uh, the tag, like custom with Maven. Uh, has the invalid argument. Uh, it's because of the capital letter. So probably I'm just going to change this to small letter. And you can see that this time I'm getting a different error. It says that the apt-get not found. Well, the reason is because the apt-get is not there within this particular uh, Docker image that I'm trying to download, which is nothing but the Jenkins Blue Ocean image. So instead of using the Jenkins Blue Ocean image, I'm just going to use the uh, Jenkins LTS version. So if I go there, so you can see that this is the LTS version. So I can just copy this guy and I'm just going to paste it over here. The reason why I have used this blue ocean is because in our previous video, I showed you how to work with the blue ocean itself. So if I just do a Docker images, you can see that I actually have a blue ocean image over here. And that's the reason I actually use this particular version. So I'm probably going to change this to Jenkins of LTS uh, tag and now if I just build it once again you can see that this time it is actually working fine without any problem so which means 
this particular version of the Jenkins actually has the apt-get that was not there. So make sure that you're not going to be using the Jenkins uh, Blue Ocean image. Uh, rather, you can use the Jenkins of LTS uh, so that you can have the apt-get that you can install the Maven in it. All right. But again, another thing is like the Blue Ocean is also available within the Jenkins LTS itself. So you don't really have to worry about the Blue Ocean is being missing or something like that. You can still use the Blue Ocean within that particular image as well. There you go. You can see that the image has been downloaded and it now it is trying to download the uh, Maven for us uh, over here and then as you can see it has uh, installed the maven for us and it's also cleaning the downloaded files that we did and then everything is done and now if i just do a docker images you can see that i have the custom docker with maven over here now i can use the same command that i used in our previous video to uh, run this particular uh, docker but just that instead of using the Jenkins CI with the blue ocean I'm going to be running my own custom image that we have over here and then I can run that uh, for us again if you run this directly you are going to be ending up with some sort of problem so maybe I'm just going to change the directory uh, from new to maybe uh, custom something like that and if I hit enter oops it seems like our existing uh, image is actually running as well okay this is the container just running so probably I can stop this docker uh, stop of this and then similarly I need to stop this particular container running so docker stop over here so two containers are stopped which is okay it's gonna clear and now if I just try to uh, run this particular guy you can see that it is currently uh, running which you can see from the docker ps hyphen a and you can grab this particular uh, container id and then you can just do docker logs of this particular container id where you can see it is currently up and running and you also have the secret key to install your uh, jenkins so now i can just go to the localhost of 8080 which means you can now see that particular administrator password page being shown I can just copy this guy and paste it over here and then I can again do the exact same installation process that we were doing before for installing all the different packages which is required for our uh, Jenkins setup so once the whole installation is done I'm going to be back and I will quickly show you the execution of the exact same repository that we were executing in our previous video There we go the installation is done and now i'm just gonna uh, create the username and password here which is going to be the exact same thing admin 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 uh, name is oops and the email id all right good save and continue and i'm going to say the local host is going to be the access url for me and then i'm going to start using the jenkins so you're going to see that this is exactly the same sign of uh, kind of jenkins here as well and I'm going to choose the freestyle project and I'm going to use the name as from Jenkins uh, Docker for the freestyle project and I'm going to hit OK and then I'm going to copy this particular repository which is the one that we discussed in our previous video which was not working without a maven and I'm going to select the git I'm going to copy paste this guy and I'm going to go to the uh, build command uh, over here I'm going to add the step as invoke top level target I'm gonna do a clean now this was the command which was not working before so I'm just gonna do a save and now I'm gonna go to the back to the dashboard and then I'm gonna hit run and this time hopefully the build execution should be passing for us because this was the one which was not working before so you can see that from Jenkins docker is currently up and running and I can go to this particular execution, go to the console output. There you go. You can see that this time it is actually trying to run the jar files. It is trying to deploy uh, and it is also building the whole stuff for us. And it is also successful in building this particular uh, command uh, for us. 
So the next thing which I can do probably is after the clean, we can do a, a compile command. So I'm gonna go to the configure and uh, instead of clean, let's say I'm gonna do a compile. I'm gonna hit save and go to the dashboard and then I'm gonna run this guy once again for the second one. And you can see that this time it is also building things for me. It is downloading the stuffs uh, for us and it is working fine without any problem. So this is the reason why the build was actually failing in our previous video we were, while we were trying to use the Jenkins without Maven uh, as the image does not really contain the Maven, in, Maven installation in that. But now for this particular custom container that we have within our local machine, we actually have the uh, Maven installation uh, and now if I see the logs you can see that it is running the logs for us uh, where it is trying to install things for us without any problem right so this is how you can use the Maven and the docker file to create your own docker images and then you can run the container within your local machine and then you can run the whole build for you without any problem. This is how things are actually happening within the cloud and many people are actually using this way for creating the build and running the build and using Jenkins within the cloud like Azure DevOps or AWS or Google Cloud. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.